Finding all the pitfalls, apparently. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the town of Snail. I'm excited to explore this one. It looks very cozy from the start and obviously hacked and foresty. So let's see what clothes we've got. We've got a beret, beige knit shirt, um, a bear cap, a shirt dress, a worn out jeans. Okay, let's see. We've got... I'm gonna grab the beret. I think that would be very different for us. Even though one of my mayors wears it. But I don't really wear it in town. So let's see. We're looking pretty stylish here. And what do we have? We have some coffee and we have a present. What do we have for the present? Dandelion puffs? We are definitely holding those. Sorry, Leaf Umbrella. You're cute, but... Nothing compared to the dandelion puffs. Okay, so... Got this plaza. Very overgrown. And... I think that's gonna be the theme of the town. An overgrown forest. I love it. Can't get there. As usual, I can't get anywhere. Let's see. Okay, so there's a path over here. I'm doing things. This Bo's house. This is Bo's house. Off the bat, winning me over with some of my favorite villagers. Hello, Bo. Adventure dreams are nice and all, but I really like dreams where you just kind of veg out. Bo's house is super, super cute. I love it so much. And then next to his house, you've got this little chair to relax in. Give you those nice relaxing vibes that Bo absolutely loves. And then we've got this little fishing dock. I love when people add this into their towns, honestly. Um, just reminiscent of GameCube. There's Carmen. We don't see Carmen a lot. Although I became a fan of her when um, I got her in Pocket Camp. You know whose house I love the most around here are Mayors. That garden's live in large. Okay, so the Mayor's name is Garden. And Zell? Oh, another one of my favorites. I know everyone, and I don't know you yet. Regn from this town is totally a new face. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And we've got the reset center just casually over here. Not really hugely noticeable. It's a good place for it. So I think this is is this Carmen's house? Yes. So I'm already absolutely loving this whole town. Love it. Um, straw boater. We'll keep our beret. Yellow Gulliland. I just love carrying around these dandelion puffs. That is something I do not do nearly enough of, to be honest, in this game. But they're so cute. Okay. I didn't even see whose house this is. I didn't see the person outside. But <laughs> we'll figure it out eventually. Um, so we've got... A nice little cozy cafe. Lots of books. And then, what is this on the floor here? I don't even know. 
But we've got, we've got a kitchen. Of course, every cafe needs a kitchen. Unless they get things delivered in, I guess. But, you know. I like all the, all the plants, of course. You know how it is. I love plants in the houses. And over here we've got a little crowded workroom, it looks like. Maybe they work as a florist. We've got this moss ball. I love that moss ball. I love that item was added in. And we've got just lots of flowers. And it's the, the, the sewing kit that makes me think that this is like a florist. Room. Upstairs we've got the living space. Okay, the IV makes me question things. Um, is this someone who's very sick and just like living in this little town to get some rest and relaxation? With lots and lots of plants. And then down here, we've got another ivy, so... Something's up with the person who lives here. And we've just got more plants and a nice, like, cozy uh, living space. Upstairs with the, was the bedroom, clearly, and this is more like their den, their living room, where they can relax. Coffee. Okay. Oh! Well. We found a pitfall. <laughs> and I like the use of the town tree. Over here. Oh, there's there's the person whose house this is. Let's go say hi. They're hiding. Every flower dies someday. Okay, so this is the mayor, Mayor Garden, and she has a very bittersweet message for us. So, Garden, sorry that you're not doing well, but this town is doing well. I didn't mean to sit on that. Just ignore me. And then over here we've got a little campfire area. I love it. I love it so much. I love the bugs just... The snails just hanging out. And let's see what we've got over here. We've got Stonehenge. Zell's house. I'll organize that anywhere. And... Don't know whose has this is. It's Teddy's! Tough guy, eh? When I look at your face, I can tell you're not an enemy. Just try to be less serious. Teddy fits in the, with this town very well, for sure. He's got such a nice house. What do we have out here? Roman candle? There's this, this little bridge to the waterfall where we can sit and just do that. Just a little. Just a little. Glitch a little. Uh, and get back on it. I love using the suspension bridge, this bridge, with the weeds poking out. Saw that in another town. And I just updated Camelot to have that. So that will be in Camelot's next dream update. And just in one spot. So down here we've got an overgrown beach. Retail is down here. Hmm. That's an interesting spot for retail that I've never seen before. Like, I, it makes sense. Like, a nice little beach shop. It's cute. But I've never seen it before, and I'm actually surprised that I've never seen it before. If only because it would make, like, 
selling things after the after being on the island so much easier, right? Um, I was looking at these pears in the in the water over there. And I like this one little weed right there. Just next to retail. So, an overgrown beach with fireworks stand. So nice. Do they have fireworks for us? No, ice cream. Okay, so it could be an ice cream stand, I guess. I never thought to put um, weeds on the ramp, but I guess you can. I guess there's nothing stopping you from that, right? And then there's the whole rest of the town to explore. Once we get up to the bridge, there we go. Lots and lots of things to pick up and pitfalls. You know, I visited a few like overgrown foresty towns and nobody's ever used pitfalls to like really hone in that overgrown feeling, that neglected feeling. And I love the log bench in the middle of the path. That's perfect. Okay, so we're stuck on this path with the overgrown tree. I love using town trees to really give you that overgrown feeling. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. I always have to play with the interactive public work projects. I'm finding all the pitfalls, apparently. <laughs> but I'm loving this town, honestly. I didn't realize we had wandered so far north already, though. I'm looking at the map right now. We've got a little fishing pond. So cute, next to the campsite. And another overgrown beach. Wonder if there's anything down here. No. Just these trees by the waterfall. So I don't want to go to the right just yet. I want to explore down here because I didn't realize we were so far north. So let's go see what we've got down here. We've got Genji. As long as you have fun while you're here. It's an interesting place to visit. It's really cool to look around in there because it has so many rooms. Thanks, I will. What do we have now? More dandelion puffs. Perfect. Try not to blow these away without making a wish first. So this is Genji's house. I love the pears in the in the water. It's just a little simple touch. Another town tree. And I can imagine if you visit this for real, not in the dream town, if you come and visit and you walk out of the train station to this, it must be a beautiful sight. I love it. Okay. <laughs> we need to find our way back to the path, though. Here? There we go. Not there. We've got another cute little pond. Oh, the Zen garden just hanging out here. With the Zen bell and this trellis. I love it. That wasn't a pitfall. Yay. 
I am loving the touches of all the Zen architecture, temp, Zen pu public work projects. Another pitfall. So here we've got Coco. And whose house is this? Cole. Oh, there's Cole. Speaking of- No! I did it again. How did you get here, dude? So, I'm just gonna keep blowing away my dandelion puffs, apparently. Another snail. And there's even a frog in this pond, which I know you can't control, but it's just like... Perfect. It's perfect for this town and the vibe. Who do we have here? Pippi. Ooh, we're gonna go say hi to Pippi. So, so far, it's been all rabbits and deer. I don't think we've come across anyone who wasn't a rabbit or a deer, right? I love Pippi. I think she's cute. She's definitely not a super popular villager. But, she has her fans. This rack of rice, which I never, like, find a use for. So, good on other people finding a use for it. And, of course, these little garden plots. Another pitfall. <laughs> I'm just finding all of them. So you don't have to. Flowers bloom at its own time. We'll visit their house in just a second. I just wanted to make sure I got everything up here, which looks like I did. I'm wandering here a lot, but I keep, like, finding myself backtracking, which I didn't notice. But she has this little pavement leading up to her house, so... Curious to see what the inside of her house is like. So she's got a nice little one bedroom. Everything you need here, including lots of plants, of course. I like the blue touches of all the furniture. The dark blue furniture set with the striped bedding and the futon. So, I wonder what her story is, and why she lives here with the sick mayor. She's writing something, and likes to read. There's a stack of books, and there's um, a nice cozy fire. And I love those uh, QR codes on the wall of those little shelves. And the telescope. She likes to stargaze, apparently. So a cute little cozy house. But I do want to know what her story is. So we're going to make our way back to the town plaza, if we can find our way. No, I think it's this way. Um, this town, I forgot to say it at the beginning, but this town belongs to Cream Toast on Tumblr, and I really enjoyed it. It's nice and overgrown and cozy, a little sad. The poor mayor, but I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And if you're interested in more content, definitely leave a like and subscribe because I do Dream Town visits every single week. And um, leave a comment telling the creator of this town how much you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with another Dream Town video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.